group that matters are, are, are typical, and if there are any typical, Conservative Party members, because at the moment they're still the ones voting. Yes, exactly. But this time, perhaps more than uh, other times or in the past, um, um, the candidates must speak to all the UK population and to all the voters, um, because um, uh, not only to the membership, yes, of course, the membership will vote, mm. but um, the public opinion is so much interested in who is going to lead the country towards a big economic crisis during the next one year, two years, and also lead the party towards the next general election. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's the difference, isn't it? When we've seen the leadership elections in the past, well, if you're not interested in that party, you can sort of say, well, they'll do what they'll do. Mm -hmm. But this is the prime minister that will represent everybody. Exactly, exactly. And we are facing a very difficult period from the economic point of view, energy prices, inflation rate, Ukraine war, um, COVID pandemic still, of yes, course, yes. <laughs> existing. So um, it's, quite, it's quite interesting how much the whole public, not only conservative voters, are interested and are following this campaign. Yes, I mean, I think, uh, that's what I thought was very strong about Penny Mordaunt's brief as it were, when she laid out her, her wares. She said, I'm polling well with this section of people, I'm polling well with the general public, and I poll well against Keir Starmer, because these, these candidates will one day be prime minister, one of them will be prime minister. Yeah. Uh, so not only have they got to win that prime ministerial uh, election, but then they've got to win a general election yes, in a very absolutely. short space yes, of time. absolutely. It will be a really a very challenging period. And in fact, um, we, we pulled also which kind of policies and qualities are considered most important for UK electors, UK voters, um, with regards to the new PM. Mm -hmm. And it was quite interesting, uh, two aspects above all. And um, we asked, do you prefer a rising star or a ministerial veteran? That's mm. quite a challenging question. Yes. And um, the public uh, is half and half, 43% a rising star and 42% a ministerial veteran. I mean, yes, it's, it's quite uh, interesting because um, we can infer it from the type of audience. I mean, the young people, I mean, from 18 to 30 years old, 35 years old, um, prefer um, some innovation, some fresh ideas, new ideas. So, and um, while as they get older, they rely more on experience and perhaps on... You know, I would...